Hello again, my friends. Welcome back. We are ready for some math. So I figured we would do our money song and save team numbers for another day just so that we can not forget and make sure we get some practice in with these. So here we go. The money song. One, two, three. A penny is one cent. A nickel is five. A dime is ten and a quarter. Twenty-five. That's money. Money, money, money. That's money. Go again. A penny is one cent. A nickel is five. A dime is ten and a quarter. Twenty-five. That's money. Money, money, money. That's money. Money. All right, I'm going to start with the penny. Take a look. The sign on the front tells me it's worth one cent. And then who's this? Abraham Lincoln. You say it. Abraham Lincoln. So this is the smallest amount of all of my coins. A penny is one cent. A nickel is five. What building is this? Say it in a fancy way. The Monticello. You say it. The Monticello. And then who's this guy? Thomas Jefferson. You say it. Thomas Jefferson. Okay. A penny is one cent. A nickel is five. A dime is ten. So let's look at the front. This one's got a lot. Repeat after me. The torch. The oak branch. The olive branch. And then who is this guy? I was so impressed in our class meeting. Santiago told me who he was. Franklin D. Roosevelt. You say it. Franklin D. Roosevelt. All right, we're almost to the end. Penny is one cent. A nickel is five. A dime is ten and a quarter. Twenty-five. On the front, I have the bald eagle. You say it. Bald eagle. And then I have... George Washington, who is also on the dollar. So George Washington is a busy guy. He's on a coin and he is on the paper money. All right, so there are our coins for today. I'm going to look out the window to check the weather. Mm. I was outside this morning when I took Micah to daycare and it was a little cool. It wasn't really warm. This weekend's weather was beautiful, totally beautiful. Today, not so much. If the meteorologist was at school, they would report it is cool and it is cloudy. What season are we in? Spring. Still the spring. On June 20th, it'll switch over to being summer. So here we go. Get out your four. Four seasons in a year. I can name all four. Do you want to hear? Let's get ready and say them all. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. So we know those seasons go in a cycle over and over and over again. All right, my friends, we are ready to get started today. Now, during class meeting in math and during some of our small groups, we have done some work with adding and subtracting. I noticed that adding lickety split friends are so good at. Then I noticed subtracting is a little bit trickier because it takes a different kind of thinking. So we're gonna do some focus on subtraction this week before we go back to our work with teen numbers. So if you remember, adding means put together, subtracting is Taking away, subtract means take away. And that subtraction sign is just that straight line across. So this is going to be our focus today. When I subtract, my difference, that's the number at the end, is going to get smaller. So this is my minus sign. It means to subtract, to take away a number to get another number. Today, we are sticking within five. So parents, if you notice that your student has got this mastered, you could move on to tens. You could move on to teen numbers. That I think will definitely be a challenge. But for today, just for the practice of it, we're going to work within the number five. And then that's going to help us to learn our math facts too. Okay, so all of our numbers today are going to have a number here minus another number and it will equal the difference. I'm going to go ahead and make the minus sign a different color. My friends, I would like for you to write along with me today. So if you have paper or a whiteboard, go ahead and get that out. Now, the what if monster was getting bored sitting over here. We read about him on Friday. He wants to play with us today. Is it okay if our friends play? 
we should be asking if it's okay if he plays. All right, so what if monster, you're going to give me the subtraction problem. You're going to whisper it in my ear, and then I'm going to share it with everybody, okay? Okay, all right, you ready? He needs to think, think, think. Hmm, what do you want to start with? What if monster? He said he's still confused. Okay, what if monster, what are you confused about? He kind of sounds like our friend in the classroom, our lion, right? Who always gets confused at jobs. He said he isn't sure when he, he does adding, it's so easy, subtracting is hard. Okay, I, but tell me what you need me to tell you. Oh, he said, for the subtraction sign, what does it mean again? He wasn't listening the first time we said it. Okay, ready? Listen closely, what if monster. Subtract means, I hope you said it. Subtract means take away. So the number is going to get smaller. And what if monster, we will use a number line and some other resources. Today, we're going to use the cross out strategy, okay? He looks a little confused, but I think that's just his face. All right, what if monster, think, 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 give me two numbers. Okay, he's ready. He said he wants to do a five and a two. So we have a five. And I'm going to subtract two. Five minus two. So I'm going to use the cross out strategy today. I could turn this into a story problem if I wanted, but I don't have to. One, two, three, four, five. There is what I'm starting with. Check that. Make sure what if monster that there's five there. Okay, he approves. Now the cross out strategy is to cross out whatever number is here. It's a two. I'm going to cross out two. So what is my answer? Some friends might have said right away, I already knew the answer. The difference was three. But drawing it to show my thinking is definitely helpful. So let's read. Five minus two equals three. Read again. Five minus two equals three. Okay, what if monster, check that out because your brain's got to learn about this too. Okay, let's erase. What if monster, think, 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 think. What's the next one going to be? He's thinking. So I have my first number. Minus. My second number equals the difference. Okay, what if monster would you come up with? Okay, he said he wants to use three and two. So three minus two. This one is easy. One, two, three. I'm going to cross out. Bink, bink. How many are left? Whoops. One. Now, this is so easy. If you know this math fact, your brain is so smart. But sometimes you have to show how you know. This picture that I drew here is a way that I can show how I got my answer. Parents, that is so, so important for us to explain our mathematical thinking. So giving them an option to draw a picture or use a number line is what's going to really help them develop in that math talk. Okay, I'm going to erase this time. I'm just going to do the number so I don't have to remake it. What if monster thinking, 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 what's the next one going to be? He said he just wants to make sure subtraction always is making a number smaller, taking numbers away. Yes, what if monster always and forever subtraction is taking numbers away. Okay, you got that in your brain? All right, give me two numbers. Okay, he said he wants to do four and three. All right, four minus three. So I'm going to draw four circles. One, two, three, four. Should I draw three more? No, 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 no. I can't do that because then that would make me add numbers together. I'm going to cross out. So I've got four. I want to get rid of three. One, two, three. How many are left? The difference is one. Let's read. Four minus three equals one. Read again. Four minus three equals one. If I were going to explain my thinking, I would say I had four. I crossed out three, and that leaves me with one. Okay, I'm going to erase. I hope you're writing these number sentences with me. It will stick in your brain better if you do. All right, what if, Monster, let's do two more. Think, 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 think. Okay, he said he wants to do three and three. Let's try it. Three minus three. 
I'm going to draw three circles. One, two, three. Okay, now wait a second. What if, monster? I had three. I drew my three circles. I need to get rid of three. So pay close attention to this because this tricks people. Some friends might have said six, six, six. Do you know why? Because we're thinking about subtracting and we know that math fact. But I'm going to cross out three. Cross out, cross out, cross out. How many are left? Zero. Can the answer be zero? Yes, indeed, it can. So three minus three equals zero. I had three and I took three away. There are none left. The difference is zero. So think in your brain, if we were thinking about taking something away like cookies, I had three cookies and I ate all three of them. How many cookies are left? Zero. So the answer definitely can be zero. So let's read three minus three equals zero. Okay, what if monster, I'm thinking a challenge one for this one. Let's go up to 10. Can you do that? He said he's feeling nervous. What if monster, I want you to try your best. Can you do that? Okay, don't worry, you, you've got this. All right, he's got it. Let me finish erasing. Okay, he said he wants to do 10 and seven. So 10 minus seven. So I'm gonna draw seven circles. I mean, 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This tells me to take how many away? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many are left? Three. So 10 minus seven equals three. You read it. 10 minus seven equals three. So this was just a little bit of practice with subtraction. What if monster? Subtract means take away. Subtract means take away. You say it. Subtract means take away. He's got his little arms. He can do the sign. So plus means put together. Subtract means take away. Add means put together. Minus means take away. So do you feel like you learned something new today? He said he knows your brains are so smart and he's so proud of you. So what if, monster, don't doubt yourself. You can do this job. It's easy peasy. You just have to practice, okay? So my friends, if it feels like we've done this before, we have. If we were at school, we would practice things over and over and over again until we are masters at them, experts at them. So it is still important to practice. If we were at school, we would be in math workshop and we would be practicing these jobs all the time. All right, that is all I have for you today. What if monster high five? He says, I'll see you next time. And I will see you this afternoon at 1.30 for our class meeting. Mwah.